today I'm joined by Dan Fisher of Shunk, and we're going to be talking about a new vice, Dan. You know, what is it and how does it work? So yeah, this is a uh, uh, Shunk vice. Um, it's a pneumatic vice. So what this means is basically it's controlled using uh, pneumatic pressure. What it does do is add so many different um, aspects and flexibility to your machining process or, or your kind of your process overall. Um, this is actually a bit of a special one. This one has got a quick change uh, jaw on. So if you don't mind, I'll yeah, show you. Yeah, carry on, yeah. So if I just click here with the allen key, over, and that's out. Oh, wow, quick, very quick. Very quick, very quick, yeah, yeah. Now I can put it back on, and you're back in. Okay, so when I first looked at it, I was yeah. thinking it was a self-centering five-axis vice, but of mm. course you can use it yeah. as a five-axis vice, but it lends itself equally as well to horizontals and BMCs. Absolutely. So, you know, no, yes, you are right. Um, don't get me wrong, when you look at this, and when a lot of people look at this, they have the same thought you have. Um, but, for example, if I pick this up now, and now we imagine we're on a horizontal, I'm, I'm on a tombstone, I could have many of these on a tombstone. Uh, we have we have a few applications where these are on all four sides of the tombstone. You might have four or five on each. You have the services coming out the back, so the pneumatics coming out the back. These also can be fitted with sensors, so you, you know when you're fully open, you're fully closed. Um, then the services are run down the tombstone, straight through the rotary coupling on the pallet. And what it does mean then, it just makes it so neat, you haven't got to worry about swarf um, or anything like that. Yeah, that's what I like about it. There's nowhere for swarf to go, is there? No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, and I know Shunk are very heavily involved in automation. Yeah. This is perfect, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, do you know what? Sometimes I look at this and think it was made for automation. Um, what it does do in it, it's, it's something that actually when, when we discuss this with the potential customers, it's a conversation right from the start is that this adds flexibility and what it does, it future-proofs your investment in work holding. Because what it means is you can use this manually like, like you would now, and if you're not ready for a robot, and in 18 months you want a robot, two years you want a robot, this is all serviced up to the machine, what it means, you just send you know an output from whatever mm -hmm. from the machine or from the robot, open and close the devices, you can load it in with the robot, the robot comes away, close the device, fully automated system. No wow. need to reinvest in work holding. Uh, how are we in terms of clamping force and things like that? Is it a rigid setup? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we wouldn't expect anything less from a shrink product. This here, we go up to uh, 20,000 newtons clamping force. Um, the repeatability of these shores is up to 10, 10 microns. Mm -hmm. So you've got 10 microns over the, over the total um, uh, stroke? Yes, yeah, yeah. So to me, is, is this style of work holding up the future? If we, if we were fortunate enough to have a crystal ball, yeah, yeah. people will you be using this with robots in 10 years' time? Everyone have, have to use it, won't they? This type of this Yeah, absolutely, system. absolutely. I mean, this, this I think, all the, this, this complements our work holding portfolio. Um, and for sure, you're going to see more and more of these pneumatic work holding uh, devices. But... You know, watch this space, we're always moving forward. So looking at this, is yeah. it as simple as triggering an M code? Yes, um, basically this this could be triggered either over an M code or just of an output of a robot. Um, all it needs basically is you have a 24 volt signal just going straight to the solenoid, opens or closes the solenoid, which in turn will just either give the air to the device, mm -hmm. open it, close it. Simple as that. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously on top of this, we've got um, we've got jaws to go on as well. Yeah, so this this here, what you're seeing here, this, this array and this pattern uh, fits perfectly with our extensive jaw portfolio um, that, that covers kind of the whole range of devices that Shunk offer. So this is typical Shunk, is it? Pushing the boundaries, you know? Yes, yeah. I mean, at the moment, this is at, at the forefront of uh, future-proofing your machine for, for automation. But Shunk being Shunk, you know, investing millions in R&D every year. So, uh, so watch this space. There we have it. If you're looking for work holding, potentially want to future-proof your business, maybe speak to Dan at Shunk and they'll fill you in even more.